Hi, everybody. Okay, so today we're doing step one of learning to wood burn. And step one is learning how to prep your wood pieces so that you get a smooth, consistent burn. And basically, all prepping your wood pieces means is sanding them so that you get a nice, smooth surface all the way across. So I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this. It's pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. I think of an orbital sander. I've heard conflicting evidence of what you should do. But anyway, so I have P100 paper, gator paper. This is pretty rough. And I'm going to use that to clean up the edges. There's a lot of little fibrous pieces on these. Cheap little pieces of wood I got. And I'm going to take all of that off with the rough paper. As you can see, this makes a lot of sawdust. So it's kind of messy, so you want to be able to clean up the area or do it outside if you can. And once you get the sides cleaned off, then you can clean the face too. Rough that face up. And once you are satisfied with your really taking the the inconsistencies out of your face of your piece you can move on to slightly higher grit sandpaper so I'm moving on to P150 from the P100 and I just like to bend mine in half I don't currently have a sandpaper holder they make life easier you can google sandpaper holder if you're curious it's just a block that holds a piece of sandpaper and I have one on order, and it was supposed to be here today, but it didn't come, so I'm doing it by hand. It's not like it's the most painful thing in the world. It's okay. So you just do the edges again the same way. I like to pull the edges forward coming from the back and then pull them backwards coming from the front so you get a nice smooth edge no matter what way you grab the piece. I wonder if you can hear my cat meowing in the other room. He's very mad. I locked him out of here, but he, cut, but he was meowing, so he was making way too much noise to be in this room while I was recording this video. So out he goes while I sand my piece of wood. Okay. And now that I'm satisfied with the P150, I am moving up to P2200. There are finer grits of sandpaper. This, I think, is pretty good for my purposes today. The higher grits you can act, those are more for like in between coats of paint, adding a little bit of coarsity to your paint so that the next layer sticks without actually scratching the paint. And I will also have some very nice fine grit sandpaper tomorrow. But I don't need it. You don't need it either. You can get your basic cheap three piece sandpaper kit from your hardware store. And that'll work just fine for sanding pieces of wood. Now let's talk about pieces of wood that you should get and you should not get. Pine is easy to get. A lot of people are going to try and give you pine if you tell them that you want to burn on wood they're gonna give you pine and it's gonna be hard some people really enjoy it though some people can have the hang of it they can deal with the sap but there's a lot of sap it's like a sticky wood to burn on so I recommend avoiding pine the best thing to burn on is hardwoods best hardwoods are not the best thing to burn on I just totally misspoke basswood is the best thing to burn on nice soft basswood the best thing ever to burn on. Hardwoods are nice to burn on, but you have to watch out for knots and any inconsistencies in the wood. You want to make sure you sand them very carefully and just watch out as you're burning because there are inconsistencies in hardwoods and they're harder than in softwoods. Ha! -ha. Alright, so this little piece of basswood is pretty much as smooth as I'm going to be able to get it. 
by hand with the amount of effort that I want to put into it. And this is about perfect for wood burning on. Nice and smooth consistency. When you rub your thumb over it, you don't get any catches. You can actually see, because it's wood, so you can see the texture and where you might catch. And you can sand those places more. And that's it. That is the whole shebang. You just sand your pieces very carefully. Watch out for inconsistencies. Try to stay away from sticky wood. It'll make your life harder. Um, also, stay away from any glue. Don't burn on glue. Don't burn on anything plastic. It'll be very bad for you. Don't do that to yourself. Please don't do that to yourself. Um, you can burn on... You can burn on some woods that are glued together. You just can't burn into the glue layer. That's the important thing. So you can burn on plywood. Just don't burn so deep that you're actually burning through glue. That's really, really bad for you. And no one wants you to die from inhaling glue that you burned while you were attempting to make beautiful artwork. That would be a sad way to die. Don't do it. Um, anyway, have fun. Get started with your prep work. I know it's a pain. I know it's boring. And I know you just want to start burning things because burning things is fun. But prep work first, then burn things. It's the way to go. All right. Have a great day. My name is Beckers. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about pyrography and watch me burn wood and make glow-in-the-dark art and live stream all sorts of weird things and have fun with you and whatever. I also do giveaways. I'm doing a big watercolor giveaway soon. All right. Have a great day. Bye.